weekends here. Is Terry here to give us a, quite a rainy forecast here in the next coming week? Right? Yeah, it's going to be a little waterlogged. Yep, yeah, sounds I'd like it. I'd say so. And uh, it's going to start kind of tonight. We'll have a few breaks as we go through the week core, but we are expecting Mostly a lot wet. more rain. Yeah, Mostly some wet. buckets of uh, precipitation. That's what we'll be dealing with, if I could speak here. All right, so with the satellite and radar, we have a lot of moisture that's been dragging from the south today. We just had this relatively weak surface low pressure, but it's doing pretty good damage with the precipitation. We've had some uh, well, heavier moments today where we had some rainfall, but now it's going to bring in some gusty conditions as we go into this evening and into tonight and through the overnight hours. So here's that low pressure. It's spiraling and pushing off to the northeast. It's going to drag this front along with it. It's losing some heat. So when we have that change from temperatures, we had some warm air. It's going to be cooling down behind it. Then we tend to see the pressure kind of pick on up and that's going to increase our wind speed as we go into the overnight hours. As a look at uh, meadows, not snowing right now, but they picked up at least four inches through today. Timberline picked up five inches and Ski Bowl even uh, an inch. Temperatures didn't cool down all that much at that level there at government camp, but some of the higher elevations picked up on more snow uh, through the day today. Now tonight we'll be falling down to about 43 degrees. We are in the upper 40s now. We'll have some passing rain showers and it's going to be windy at times with those gusts all the way up to maybe the 30 to 40 mile per hour range until about two in the morning. We do have that wind advisory till 2 in the morning and then it will uh, cancel and expire and then after that it should start to become more tame. But behind this system we have even more moisture. This is a look at that atmospheric river. It's going to continue to stream that moisture right towards Oregon and Northern California. So expecting that uh, and more heavy rainfall by the time we get into Wednesday. The rain total forecast, watch this, we get through Tuesday some decent amount of precipitation, but we get into Wednesday, that's where it's going to be a lot heavier. Uh, we could pick up maybe up to about two inches in some areas along the coast, maybe up to about four inches of rainfall as we get into our Wednesday. So we'll time it out here in the rain snow ice forecast. Uh, snow through the overnight, still through the Cascades. It will pick up a little bit more as we go through the overnight hours and into tomorrow morning. Uh, I'll tell you this, when you're heading out tomorrow morning, maybe going for a quick walk or a jog before work, uh, be prepared for maybe some isolated rain showers. It becomes more scattered in nature for the afternoon. It will slow on down by the time we get into the evening hours, but with it, we might have a, a thunderstorm uh, embedded into a couple of those uh, rain showers as we get into tomorrow. It slows down through the overnight Tuesday before we have a second wave that will just rush right on in by the time we get into Tuesday evening bringing in some more rain as we go through the week. Your seven day forecast as we get into Tuesday, 50 degrees, so it will cool on down Wednesday at 51. And Wednesday is going to be the day where we get that big soaking. It's going to be late Tuesday through Wednesday, so I think that's where we'll accumulate most of our moisture. Uh, after that, we should have some dry time on Thursday and into Friday. Uh, temperatures pretty much hanging out in the mid 50s, Core. Looks like a typical spring forecast. Yeah, it's going to feel like Thanks that. Thanks very much, Joseph. No problem.